everybody. I'm Larry Ridley, and this is the NFL on EA Sports. In today's game, we have an AFC East class featuring two pro bowlers getting set to square off. It's Tom Brady going up against Tyrod Taylor. With that, it's time to hook up with our commentators in the booth. So we turn it over to Brandon Godden and Charles Davis. Thank you very much, Larry. While the skies may be ominous, there's never a bad day for football. Today, we've got an AFC East matchup between the New England Patriots and the Buffalo Bills. And hi again, everybody. Alongside Charles Davis, I'm Brandon Gordon. And Charles, you take a look at our matchup here. You've got to believe that this is a game that might be won in the trenches. Oh, without question. This is big person on big person. Big unit against big unit. Meat on me. Oh, you got it all. Pick your cliche, but we know this. The ground's going to shake, things are going to rumble, and they're going to have an impact on today's game. Here's Steven Goskowski now to kick this one off. And this one is underway here on EA Sports. To return it, here's Reggie Bush. And he'll take this one near the 25, call it the 26-yard line. Out come the 4-3 and three Buffalo Bills, led by Tyrod Taylor. Now, the Bills had their four-game winning streak broken against the Dolphins, 28-25 in Week 7. Taylor, 14-28, 221 yards, and a touchdown throw. A low completion percentage, but big yardage. And that's what Tyrod Taylor gives you, because when you can run the ball, as Buffalo usually does, it sets up the play action and bigger strikes downfield. He actually led them in rushing as well, 35 yards. There's a carry now for Mike Gillisley. And he's going to be stopped here on this first play as he gets it to the line of scrimmage and no more. All right, let's take a look at the offensive starters and the second-round pick out of USC, one to talk about, Robert Woods. I think a lot of people thought maybe he was ticketed for stardom coming out of USC, has always been a great route runner, much more of a complimentary receiver, but they could utilize that in a big way and have him open up things in the middle. Now Taylor to throw on second down. It's complete to his tight end, Charles Clay. And he's finally taken down, but not before getting across midfield and across the 45-yard line. Now that play will end up on the highlights, and you'll see it all over the place. But what you won't see, the offensive line that bought the extra time that allowed for the big completion downfield. Those guys made that play possible. down following that long game. Out of the gun, it's Taylor. He's got time. Left side here, caught by Clay. It'll go as a gain of 10 there, and it'll be a Buffalo first down. When you execute a drag or a crossing route really well and give them a chance to let it develop a little bit, you can gain some significant yardage hitting your tight end on that one. Throwing now, Taylor on first down. Throwing over the middle, and it's incomplete. Justin Hunter, the one he was searching for. And now it's second down. And quickly, let's check out the New England defense. Devin McCourty is one half of twins that can cover just about anyone in the league. A top-notch player who can play corner or safety. Ten yards still left on second down. Let's go! 
This is Gillisley. And he'll get it down inside the 30 to the 29-yard line. Call it a gain of four, and it'll leave him with a third down and six to go. We always like to talk about defense in terms of levels. First level defensive line, second level linebackers, third level defensive backs. On that run, that was what we call a first level run, and it was stopped by a second level player. An extra corner on the field for New England here on third down. Yeah, another DB. Now it's Taylor. They'll try and set up the screen. It's complete. He'll wind up being stopped for no gain, and it'll lead to a fourth down. So unable to get any yardage at all off of the screen there on third down. And ordinarily on third down, that's when you want to bring pressure. You get all your guys who want to get after the quarterback. But how about the patience they showed? Read the play, snuffed it out, and made a nice stop. Dan Carpenter now for the Bills field goal. From the right hash, it's a 46-yard attempt. And Carpenter knocks it through, and the Bills' opening drive yields three. So the opening drive for them here on their home turf results in a field goal. Now that's the way you want to get things started. Your stadium, your crowd, you've got the ball, put points on the board first, and let everyone start to celebrate. now after the made field goal will kick this one away Danny Amendola on the return and not a bad return here he gets it out to the 25 yard line the 6-1 New England Patriots they'll be led by their main man Tom Brady he continues to roll since coming in 19-26 222 yards in week 7 Two touchdowns, no interceptions. He's Tom Brady, and we have to be careful to not just take him for granted. That's a terrific game, and you, you mentioned no sacks, right? Part of that comes from the confidence his offensive line has in having him back there at quarterback. They block better, they hold him a little bit longer, and allows him to make big plays downfield. And he has eight touchdowns, no interceptions now since the return. Brady now on first down. The throw left side, complete to Hogan. And he's able to get out to the 32, brought down there. Give him seven on the play, and that'll make it a second down. In recent years, the slot receivers really gained stature in the NFL because they could do so many things. Yes, they can line up wide like your normal wide receiver, but to have that kind of courage and toughness to run routes in the middle of the field and become dependable targets for their quarterbacks and move the sticks, those guys are worth their weight in gold. Brady to throw on second down. Throwing middle, but it's incomplete. LeGarrette Blunt was the intended target, and it's third and short. As the offensive starters pop up on your screen, Charles, let me ask you, Chris Hogan, what does he bring to this offense? A guy that you look at and really don't circle in your game plan. If there's other guys that you look at, then you realize this guy can do damage. Finds his way open on almost every snap. So a second down in completion, now brings up third down. Brady going to try and throw on third down. And he'll have his man, that's Edelman. And he will have first down yardage as he's brought down at the 41. Throughout his career, Tom Brady has made a living with the quick pass, hasn't he? How about that one? A little slant inside. And I think his arm's gotten stronger throughout his career, too. Yeah. And you can just see one of many examples of why he's made more trips to the Super Bowl than any other quarterback. Footwork, intelligence, competitiveness. That's Tom Brady in a nutshell. They go play action here on first down. He's going to get this one out to his fullback. And he'll go down right around the 47 this time. Give him six on the play, and it'll be second down. It's interesting because when I'm watching college football and I'm evaluating guys for the draft now, my list of fullbacks, pure fullbacks, it's a very short list. I'm probably evaluating more punters and kickers now than I am fullbacks. 
But doesn't matter what you call the position, it's who you put there, and there we saw a completion. Now Brady again. He finds Malcolm Mitchell here. And he'll get it down to the 47 here. It's a pickup of six and good enough to move the chains. When you see zone defense and you know you've got a drag route on as your primary call, you've got to be really careful as a passer about how far you let your guy go because he might wander into some tough coverage. Carry for LeGarrette Blunt. And he's going to be met at about the 43. Give him three on first down. It'll set up a second and seven. Quickly now, a look at the Buffalo defense. Ronald Darby's selection makes a general manager look good. A terrific ball hawk who is eager to tackle in the run game. And here comes play number six on this drive. On second down, here's Brady. A dump off here to Bolden. And he'll go down shy of the 40 at the 41. It'll be a pickup of just two, and that'll lead here to a third down. I know most of the time when the ball's in the air, you're thinking wide receiver, tight end, but running backs, they can be a big part of any passing offense nowadays. Play number seven now coming up on the drive. Third and five. Shotgun now for Brady. And he's got Bennett. And he's going to get the first down here as he's taken down at the 22. And the play goes for 19 yards. Gives him a new set of downs. Have we yet met a receiver that wasn't excited about getting a chance to play with Tom Brady? Absolutely not. And Martellus Bennett bringing his considerable skills to New England now. Going to hook up with Mr. Brady for another completion here. Yeah, 90 catches a couple years ago in Chicago. 53 last year for Bennett. First carry for Brandon Bolden. And he'll be taken down near the 20 at the 21. Just a yard on the first down carry, so it's second and nine. A one-yard gain could look like a disaster, but it all depends on how the game is going. Is it a series of one-yard gains running the ball? If that's the case, you might have to start thinking about throwing it a little bit more. But if it's just the occasional one-yard run, hey, congratulations to the defense. They won that one. Come back and get them the next time. Brady gives now to Blunt. <laughs> and eventually brought down, but it's near the five at the six. It's a really nice 15-yard pickup, and now it's first and goal. Week seven, Blunt was the only tailback for New England to get a carry. He got all 24 of them at 127 yards. And I can tell you as a former defensive back, when you're playing against a player like LeGarrette Blunt, you're asking your defensive front and your linebackers to take care of all runs because if he gets all the way back to you in the secondary, that's going to be a heck of an impact. It's going to hurt a lot. And he takes a lot of carries. He's the only guy who carried the ball other than Brady on a couple of scrambles. Yeah, and he hit the end zone twice as well. And this is caught. Touchdown, Patriots. Danny Amendola, a five-yard touchdown. And the Pats have taken the early lead. Boy, that route is really tough to cover because if they're running it correctly, you think it's really going to be a slant. Yeah, well, you, we talk all the time about how it's tough to execute offensively, but you're saying, don't forget, it's tough to cover for the defense, too. Yeah, the number one thing that you're taught is to not get caught inside or get beat inside. So you guard that a little bit more. So that gives you a little bit more space to operate outside if you start your move initially inside if you're a receiver. Goskowski now after the touchdown. He'll send this one away. This is fielded a couple yards deep. He'll bring it back to just about the 25. Call it the 24-yard line. And here come the Bills. And last time able to get three. 
It's not what they wanted. They wanted six, but they got at least something. They mustered something out of the drop. They'll take it. Just I, I like the way you, you've described it. Not ideal, but they'll take it. Anything to put some points on the board. But this time on offense, they don't even want to see the field goal kicker trot on the field. <laughs> they want that ball in the end zone. Yeah, they'll be going for six. And he got blown up on that play. Back at the 20. That's going to go as a loss of four, and it'll be second down. And the offense there, the O-line, everybody really on offense, they were just manhandled at the point of attack. Yeah, you could pretty much call them all out, couldn't you? <laughs> Almost by name, right? That was a very tough sequence for the offensive line. But how about that defensive front creating a new line of scrimmage and creating a lost yardage possibility? Second down, Taylor finding time toward the left sideline, but it's incomplete. It's a tried and true formula, and I don't think it'll change for as long as we play football. If someone's trying to throw the ball and you can put pressure on them and make it tough, that's only going to help your defense. Yeah, he's since being hurried. He got rid of it before taking the hit, but incomplete. And they'll add a DB in the secondary here on third and 14. From the shotgun, it's Taylor. He's going to flip one out here to his running back. And he's going to have the first down at about the 38. He goes for 18 there as the drive will continue. And I know you can't really see it, but that play spells frustration with a capital F for the guys on defense. They covered everyone else, end up going to the running back out of the backfield, and he picks up a back-breaking first down. Fresh set of downs here. Now a play fake here on first down. He's got time in the pocket. Looking left side, and it's complete. And all the way down inside the 25 before he's out of bounds. Roughing the passer. That's shades of Charles Davis back in his playing days. Oh, I sure wish it had been, Brandon. Back in my day, I didn't hit anyone hard enough to rough the passer. I had a, no, I had a number of teammates that handled that for me. And now inside the red zone, the offense will operate. Here's Gillisley. Looking for a seam, but finding none. He'll get back to the line of scrimmage, and that's it. No gain on the play. It'll be second down. Then he got off the end there very quickly to make that play. Yeah, it was almost like the bullet train, wasn't it? I mean, just zoom. Quick, quick, quick. And what a terrific play, holding them to no gain. They stay on the ground. This is Gillisley again. And he is going to lose yardage here. He lost two there. And it's third down. The insistence of speed at every position is really seen at the defensive end spot. These guys in the old days were often outside linebackers. And they just pushed them forward because they wanted to play fast and get to the quarterback or the running backs quicker than ever before. So now a third and 12 with an extra defender here in the secondary, a nickel look. To throw is Taylor. And this is going to be incomplete. Pushing the foul, roughing the passer, defense. Oh, and the defender took some liberties there with a late hit, roughing the passer. The league has done a great job of defining what is a late hit and illegal contact on a quarterback. The defenders really have to get in line. They'll run with 
Gillisley. And nothing doing. He's immediately taken down at the line of scrimmage. No gain on the play that time, and it sets up second and goal. So nothing there. I don't know that that's all in the back, though. you got to look at blocking there, don't you? I would agree with that totally. At some point, they have to win at the point of attack. Instead, it was the defense getting it done again and holding them to no gain. Let's go. Here we go. One. They'll run it now out of the gun. And he is into the end zone for a Buffalo touchdown. Mike Gillisley, a six-yard touchdown run. And the Bills have retaken the lead. And there you go, nothing really too complex. Block, keep your assignments, let them run it in, they did it. Fundamental football, good blocking, beats good tackling on that play, and result, touchdown. Dan Carpenter now for the extra point. And it's through, and that makes the lead 10-7. After the TD, here's Carpenter on to kick it away. Now Jones. And he'll get it up past the 20 to the 22-yard line. A chance for us to look now at the Bills' defense. And a tight ball game here, and in these close ones, Every drive becomes magnified. And we don't want to overuse the word critical, but it feels that way as they head out there for this possession. They need to get the ball back and give their offense a chance to get them totally back into this game. We'll see if the defense can do just that here. down is Brady and seeing no options he just tosses this one away incomplete now that'll bring up second down not too many things get to a quarterback of this magnitude but I think it's safe to say that pressure can get to any quarterback now he's obviously a great franchise quarterback but felt the pressure threw it incomplete Looking back to the air on second down. It's Brady surveying the field. On the slant, he gets it to Gronkowski. Personal foul, roughing the passer, defense. So the roughing the passer penalty, 15 yards, and Charles, the defender, needs to know to stop there. We've been talking about it for years. You essentially get one step after the quarterback throws his pass. Anything close to that or beyond that, you're going to get flagged. his way forward here for a modest gain. Yeah, give him four yards there. It'll be second and six. Not a run that you're going to write home about, but still a good first down run. That's what an offense calls staying on schedule. Three to four yards on first down. You're set up very well for the rest of the drive. And after the play on the ground, that brings up second down here. Brady to throw on second down. And he's just going to get rid of this thing. To no one here, he throws it away. And now it's third. And the line to gain here is the 37 on third down. They come out five wide, three of them to the right side. Throwing his Brady on third down. He's going to air it out deep for Hogan. And he bats it away, and it falls down incomplete. Push the foul. Roughing the passer. Defense. 
Roughing the pass here, but Charles, that's a good call. But these days, you know quarterbacks, they're very protective. We know how protective they are, and if it's anything borderline, they're going to get the call. But as a defender, that's hard to swallow sometimes because there's so many of these bang-bang plays. Inside the 20 before he's brought down. 10 yards on the pickup there, and it'll be first down, New England. I just love the run right there. This guy's known for his quickness, but also for his speed, and he's able to get to the second level almost before you blink if you give him any type of blocking. Always talk about slot receivers, and they're usually known as quicker than fast. In this case, we've got a guy who's quick and fast, and he used it to great advantage. They'll run again with Blunt. And this carry not as productive. He swallowed up at the line of scrimmage. Officially no gain on the play, and it's second down. Boy, that's a lot of sirloin steak to be taken down for no gain, partner. <laughs> Are you trying to suggest that he is a huge man? He is not a just a big, big man, big, a huge big, man. Big, big boy. Well, how about the credit then for the defense to be able to chop that big tree and put him on the ground? I know back when you played, it took four of you to take a guy like that down, right? Well, that's for sure. And you know what, know what else? I didn't want to challenge him at dinner either. <laughs> Still second down. It's a really nice 15-yard pickup, and now it's first and goal. That was a nicely run slant route, and what the receiver's trying to do is make the defender think he's going upfield for a deeper route and then breaks it off, usually after about three to four steps and cuts towards the middle of the field. And now what he's trying to do is use his body to keep the defender away from the football and give the quarterback a really nice target. This is caught, Gronkowski. And he's able to get it down to the two-yard line. Call it a gain of five. We saw 93 more yards for Gronk in week seven and that win over the Steelers, a touchdown as well. And we've said it the last couple weeks, he is happy to have 12 under center. And 12 is happy to have him back running routes. You know Gronk had to battle some injuries earlier in the season, but boy, is he rounding into form nicely. Gronk, you very much, they're saying in New England. Now flags come in. Looked like one of the Patriots might have moved. Also, offense. Still second down. Second and goal as the offense looks to try to punch it in. And he is met at the line of scrimmage, and he goes down right there. No gain on the play there. They're going to need to come up with something better here on third and goal. So stuff for no gain on second down brings up a pretty interesting third from this distance. I'm throwing the ball, and I'm not even thinking about play pass. I'm going to let them know right away I'm throwing it. I'm probably giving my quarterback some room, sprint him out to one side or the other, and give him an opportunity. If it breaks down, he can take off and run for it. NFL on EA Sports is brought to you by Snickers. You're off your game when you're hungry. Snickers satisfies. Alongside Charles Davis, Brandon Gordon, it's the Patriots in possession to begin quarter number two, and they'll come up looking to keep this drive moving.
This will be play number eight on the drive. It's third and goal. Shotgun now for Brady. And probably the wise decision there. No one open. He just throws it away. And that keeps the field goal on the table as it's fourth down. Goskowski now for the Pats field goal try. From the right hash here should be an easy one. And the 10-year vet knocks it through the goalpost, and that will knot us up at 10. So the drive takes him inside the 10, but it ends with just three. And a nice job defensively to rise up and make sure they didn't get in. So a tie ball game here as the kick's away. On the return, it's Brandon Tate. <laughs> And his guys are going to start their drive right at the 20-yard line. And now out come the Bills. And that recipe on their last drive that resulted in a touchdown looked pretty good. So they'll be hoping to do that once more. And it takes me back to when we sat with the offensive coordinator and the head coach. They felt pretty good about their game plan and thought there were some holes in the defense and they exploited them the last time out. Let's see if they can come back and put together a similar drive. And we'll see if they can do just that. Give it to him right up the gun. And he's going to be met at the line of scrimmage and taken down. Just a yard on the pickup there, and it'll bring up a second and nine. Tough day, tough sledding right there, and it's been that way the entire game. Not a whole lot of room to ramble for him. Yeah, you're right. It's been that way all afternoon. Didn't get a whole lot better there. take this one up close to the 25 yard line it's a four yard pick up there and it leaves him with third and five no that wasn't an explosive run that wasn't one that took it all the way to the house but boy for a team that's had trouble running it the entire game that's the kind of run they need hopefully to get themselves kick started so second down was a run play now let's see what they do on third here we go what nine. out of the gun it's taylor he's got time Nowhere to escape, and he goes down. Jabal Sheard in there to drop him for a loss of 10, and it'll be fourth and long. And we say it all the time, have to be able to get rid of the ball sooner than that. You have to help your offensive line out. They're going to protect you as best they can, and if you're getting three to five seconds to throw the ball, they're doing a really nice job, but when you hold it and give up a sack, you're really almost discrediting their work. On fourth down, Colton Schmidt to putt it away. Back deep, Danny Amendola for New England. And take it right on the 30. Nice job bringing that one back. 14 on the return. And possession will switch hands first and 10. Now the Patriot offense set to take over again. And they had three points last time, but they didn't want three points because they were well within range of scoring a touchdown. We'll see if they can do better now. I'm with you on that one. Let's just go ahead and be frank about the whole thing. The only one happy about the three-point kicker. Exactly. <laughs> he put it through the post. That's going to help him at contract time. But that offense, they're thinking, let's get in the end zone this time. I don't know if that helped him at contract time. You, you could have kicked that one through. I don't know about that. <laughs> toe bash. I don't know about toe that. Toe <laughs> Super toe. <laughs> They'll begin here with Blunt. And a minimal gain here as he's up to about the 47-yard line. It's a pickup of four, and it'll bring up second down. 
Well, so far, this game has gone the way the defensive coordinator had hoped. They've dictated things. They've not let them run the ball very well at all. They gave up a nice game there. I doubt it'll back off their confidence. They've played so well throughout this entire game. Again, here's Blunt. And he might have got this across midfield, not by much. They'll mark it down at the 49. Three yards is half of what they needed. Now can they get the other three here on third down? I do know from experience that when you slow down someone's running game, you're now doing the dictating on defense. And guess what? Now you're getting ready to tee off on their quarterback because they have to throw it all the time. But you still have to be alert for the draws and other plays of that nature and make sure you don't get hurt. Valentary for Blunt. And he's taken down at the 43, but not before picking up the first. They get six on the pickup there as the drive will continue. On third down, that's a good job of situational football and understanding where the first down marker was and getting there. So they pick up the first down after the run, and now they approach for the fresh set. Take this one down to about the 40. Call it a gain of four on first, and that'll make it second down. Some of the most unselfish players on any football team, defensive tackles, because we ask them to just eat up blocks and allow other people to make tackles. But when he can make a play himself, as we just saw there, that's a big day. Now they'll throw with Brady. Over the middle, that's caught by Hogan. And he's going to get it down to the 33-yard line here. In today's football, where receivers break tackles, make people miss, <laughs> get upfield for the extra yardage, when you see a play like that where it's caught and he's dropped on the spot, that's a big-time play by the defense. First down is Brady. Quick throw that's complete on the inside slam. And he's brought down. They give him 13 yards there on the play and a fresh set of downs. Quick pass play there on the slant, Charles. Works out well for the offense. The offense loves it. The defender hates it. Hard to get through the body of the receiver to get to the football trying to cover a slant. They'll run it now, out of the gun. And he is swallowed up right at the line of scrimmage. Credit him with a one-yard gain there to make it second and nine. And that's the type of play that'll fire up the defense, hold him to one yard on a first down run. It'll be interesting to see if the offense decides to press the run at all, or if they'll abandon it now after gaining only one on that play. They come out here in the eye. Brady to throw on second down. And he just chucked that one out of bounds, out of everyone's reach. Maybe a wise call not to take a sack in this part of the field. It brings up third down. Now play number eight on this drive, and they need nine yards to pick up the first on third. Throwing is Brady on third down. Looking for someone to throw to. Throwing left side, he's got Gronk complete. It's a gain of five on the play, and that's going to make it fourth down. So much about this game is just understanding situations and then having to execute, isn't it? Guard the first down sticks. Don't let them get there, and they rallied and made the tackle. So on fourth down, Brady will yield to Goskowski for the field goal try. And Goskowski's kick is good. And they will take the lead at 13 to 10. So they were able to move the ball into the red zone, but they'll wind up coming away with just three. Yeah, 32 yarder. That's equal to an extra point nowadays. And those are no problem for an NFL kicker.
Goskowski now converted for three. Now he'll kick this one away. Here's Tate to return. And he'll get across the 20 before he's brought down at about the 23-yard line. And making their way back out there now, the Patriots defense. They're just looking to duplicate what they did last time, force the three and out, and that led to a field goal. The only thing better, really, is creating a turnover. Three and out, get off the field, feel good about yourself, turn the ball over to your offense, and they put the ball through the post with a field goal. They're probably pretty well rested after that three and out, too. One would think. That's how you get it done. Create the three and outs, get to the bench, get your rest, and hope your offense can control the game. time to the tailback and he'll take this one up close to the 25 yard line a gain of three second down but they held him to a short gain on that one and it almost felt like on that first run they were trying to just throw the jab at him so how do you stop the jab get closer and smother it just as they did on that last play seven yards to go on second down And he will lose yardage here back at the 23-yard line. It's a loss of two, now third down. Well, on that play, the expression, don't blink, you might miss something, certainly applied. That was fast. Defense diagnosed the play, and it was over in a heartbeat. So still a full 10 yards to go here for the offense on third down. From the gun, it's Taylor. And he can't hang on to it. Nearly picked. He's known for his hands defensively. But instead, it just brings up fourth down. Well, they've had a pretty frustrating first half here offensively, and that just continued there with that incompletion. Yeah, definitely frustrating for them, but heartening for the other guys. Those stop troops, they're enjoying things right now because they've made it very difficult for them throughout the half. Here's Colton Schmidt now. On for his second punt. He'd take a repeat of his first. He gets this one away, and boy, it's another boomer. This is fielded at the 27. It's a 47-yard punt, but they did give up 10 on the return. And the Patriots take over. Tom Brady leads the offense out for their next possession. He's played a pretty clean first half, a touchdown, no interceptions. Frankly, that's what they expect out of him. They want to see the ball thrown and thrown well, and he's able to do that and put it in the end zone. They'd love to see more of that before this game finishes. But right now, he's got his team in a good spot. A good spot, maybe looking for touchdown pass number two here in the second quarter. The drive starts with a handoff to blow. And very little room to maneuver. He'll get this down to about the 39. Just a yard on the first down carry, so it's second and nine. That was a really nice play. We're able to stack that one up. When they get back in the huddle, he's got to, he's got to tell his guys up front, great job. They kept people off of him, allowed him to run free, and make the hit on the runner. And filled the gap nicely, kept him to just a one-yard gain. Wait, 20! Wait, 20! On second down, here's Brady. And seeing nowhere to throw, he chucks this one away from harm, incomplete. Now it's third down. Extra DB on the field for the Bills here on third down. Yeah, maybe thinking pass. Working from the gun, it's Brady. Finding time. He rifles one that's intercepted. 
Picked off by Nick Pettis. Free going down the left side. It's a foot race. And he is going to score. It's a pick six and a Bills touchdown. Third down, passing down. They throw the extra defensive back in there for a nickel package, and it worked out. And it's not anything that you would think is just great strategy. It's just that when you have five defensive backs on the field and an obvious passing down, it's a lot tougher to complete a pass. And on that play, they completed it just to the wrong team, and it cost them six points. Now Carpenter to add the extra point. And that will make this a four-point game. So they throw the pick six. They'll get another shot at it now as this one's in the air. Here's Matthew Slater to return it. Oh, nice move. <laughs> And he'll be brought down at the 23, make it the 24-yard line. Here comes Tom Brady and the Patriot offense back onto the field. But a decent start for him here in this first half, but they're losing. And I think as the captain of the offense, you probably always feel like you need to do more in that situation. The best have always felt that way. And they won't settle for anything less. So right now, his goal is to increase what he's doing on the field try to make sure his teammates come along with him and he feels like if I do better everyone will do better and that's what we're seeing from him right now got to have a little extra determination yeah a little extra determination he has thrown the touchdown pass no interceptions for him personally to this point looking middle and it's incomplete Martellus Bennett the intended receiver and that'll bring up second down well I want to ask you while we've got a window here about the games you've called the last three weeks in Detroit, Matthew Stafford. You like what you're seeing from him and the Lions, aren't you? I do, and I don't think anyone can even snicker anymore if you say MVP next to Matthew Stafford's name. 15 touchdowns, four interceptions on the year, 68% completion percentage. How about the last three? Three straight wins, eight touchdowns, zero interceptions. He's playing at the highest level he's played at in the NFL. And all four of those wins against the Bears, Eagles, Rams, and Redskins come from behind fashion. I think we know by now that every run is not going to be broken and get all the way to the end zone. But these short ones still have their value. You can still set up your play action and throw the football. You control the clock because then you have the ball and they don't. And often the physicality sets the tempo for the game. He's got time in the pocket. And they take him down. The Bills get to him. Kyle Williams. He's the one that gets him down. It'll be a loss of five, and it'll bring up fourth down. Sometimes I watch games and wonder why they use play fakes on certain passing situations because it's not going to fool anyone. I don't know if that was the case here, but the end result was the same. No one fooled. The quarterback was hit. Now the four-year man out of Louisiana Tech. That's Ryan Allen on to kick this one away. Back deep here is Brandon Tate. Now it's Tate. Now a hit and a loose football. And his guys are going to take over at the 39-yard line. I don't know why, but it's always agonizing to me to see a guy make a mistake in this phase of the game because you can it's, it's all on him. All eyes there. He's got a chance to make a punt return, and instead he ends up putting it on the carpet. Puts it on the carpet. The little rubber pellets shoot up. Never a good sign for a returner on this field turf surface. No, not at all. And a bunch of them go up when they're all trying to get to the football, don't they? On first down, Brady surveying the field. And that's caught. It's Hogan. And he works it to the 30-yard line here, right at the 30. Personal foul. Face mask. Defense. And I know it's hard in live action, but you've got to keep your hands away from the face. That's a 15-yard penalty. You work on it all the time, making sure your target area is lower and trying to keep your hands away from the face mask so you don't get the big penalty. Go, 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 go. 
Brady now on first down. Over the middle, that's caught by Hogan. And able to get him down, but he does reach the five. And a nice pitch and catch to pick up the reception against man coverage. Both of them read how much yardage they needed, figured what they had to do, and were able to beat the man coverage for the completion. And on the outside, they're playing press coverage. From the gun, it's Brady. He's got time. And he just throws this one away. Smart decision here this close to the end zone, and it brings up second down. I hope I don't sound too rah-rah on that one, but that's the exact right throw. Either your receiver gets it or no one gets it. Give him a lot of credit for being really precise with it. Got rid of it. No one got it. Brady to throw on second down. Finding time. Under pressure, down he goes. Sacked at the 10. Kyle Williams in there to get him. His second sack now of the afternoon. And on second and goal, they decide to throw it again. And this result is even worse. They take a sack. On first down, it was simply an incomplete pass. Not a good first two plays, beginning with first and goal. Now from back at the nine after that last play, this is third and goal. Shotgun now for Brady. His pass caught at the four. And he'll be brought down here at the three-yard line. It'll be a gain of six, and that will bring up an interesting decision here on fourth and goal. One hallmark of good defenses it's understanding the game, understanding positioning, and tackling immediately in the secondary after catches. I think we just saw that on display right there. Got to him before he ever had a chance to think about turning it upfield. And Goskowski's kick is good. And high fives for that one as that drive ends in three. So he's been a busy man here in this first half. That's three field goals for him now. Not just three field goals, but three for three. So even though this offense has struggled a bit putting it in the end zone, they've still been able to come away with points. Goskowski now converted for three. Now he'll kick this one away. Here's Tate to return. And he'll get it up to about the 26-yard line just across the 25. The D for the Pats. The Patriots heading back onto the field now. They got the stop last time that resulted in a punt, and then it resulted in three for their offense. And this is one time where the defense won't get credit for creating points, but that's exactly what they did. All right, forced them into a punt, turned it over to their offense, and guess what? Points went on the board. Points went on the board, three of them. Now they'll be looking for another stop. They go play action here on first down. And the open receiver, it's Robert Woods. And he's going to get this down to the 35-yard line. We saw him hit a big play there on a deep post. And most of the time, the post isn't available because you usually have defenders in the middle of the field. But if you throw enough curls and crossing routes and underneath routes, <laughs> I know from experience, they get tired of watching those balls get caught. They start to creep up a little bit, and that's when you can hit them big over the top. And the offense lining up first and 10. Short gain down to about the 33. Two yards on the pickup there. It'll be second and eight. Time to step aside. Back to Buffalo after this. A 
reminder coming up here at halftime we'll ship you off to Orlando Larry Ridley will have first half highlights and analysis LR plenty to show in this one going to be a busy man at intermission Looks like the defense in press coverage here. On second down, here's Taylor. Toward the center of the field, but it's incomplete. The 25-yard line is what they need here. This is third down. It's a five-receiver set. Three to the left, two to the right. On third down, Taylor. The pass complete to Justin Hunter. And he's going to get the first down here as he's taken down at the 22. So he makes the grab and the chains move forward. Nice job by the offensive line giving them time to complete that first down pass. Defense comes to the line now, first and ten. An encroachment penalty here, maybe just a mental lapse, partner. Sometimes you have to just watch the football. Make sure it's snapped before you're jumping. Still first down. Red zone opportunity. They come out five wide. Three of them to the right side. From the red zone now, here's Taylor on first down. That's complete right around the eight. And here he'll get it down to the seven. It's a 10-yard gain there, and it sets him up now first and goal. And those first downs do add up. The offense keeps the ball moving downfield and keeps their defense on the bench, giving them a chance to rest. To throw again is Taylor. Pass incomplete. Mike Gillisley, the intended target, and it's second down. And there's a good opportunity to just want to ride there, a drop pass. I guess that's why they call them running backs and not catching backs. Second down here after the incomplete pass. Play action, it's Taylor. And he's going to be taken down, sacked back around the 18-yard line. Now whistles come in. We're going to get a timeout here by the offense. It's just their first, so they'll have two remaining here. And we are back here. I'm Brandon Gaunt alongside Charles Davis. So the offense takes a timeout. And now we're set to get going. Way back at the 17 now after the loss. It's third and goal. From the shotgun, it's Taylor. And it's a Bills touchdown. And that 
lead is now seven with a chance to go to eight or more if they want to get crazy here, which we don't expect. But I just know the way the game's being played, the analytics, there's going to be a lot more going for two in a lot of situations, isn't there? Yeah, there's going to be. And I think their focus here, they don't want to give up anything going into the lockers on the other and just a little bit of time left on the clock. Yeah, they don't want to do anything to erase the good feeling they have right now by getting this late score in the half. Carpenter now for the extra point. And with that, the lead is up to eight. After the TD, here's Carpenter on to kick it away. This is fielded a couple yards deep. And he's going to take this all the way down inside the 40. But whatever the relationship was between the special teams and the offense, it's gotten a heck of a lot closer after a return like that. The special teams just keep setting them up. The offense thinks they'll go out there and knock them down. The Patriots offense now. They work their way back onto the field. And where the ball is now, you got the field goal pretty much in the bag. Now do you try for the end zone a couple of times? I don't think there's any question about it. You might get a gift of six points rather than the three that you just noted that you feel like you already have. Be aggressive. Go after it and try and get those points. And a great spot to start this drive from here. Brady now on first down. Slant route caught by Edelman. Now hold everything here. We're going to get a timeout by the offense. It's just their first, so they'll have two remaining here before we get to halftime. So the offensive unit called the T.O., and now we are ready to resume play. Offense in a good spot here, second and two. Gronkowski, slot left. Now Brady throwing on second down. Over the middle, that's caught by Hogan. And he's brought down after a good game. Now whistles come in. We're going to get a timeout here by the offense. So that means they're down to one remaining here as we head toward halftime. So we're back in the offense getting set following the call of that timeout. And the defense with their backs against the wall a little bit here as the offense is in the red zone. Shotgun now for Brady. A 50-50 ball here, and it's intercepted. Picked off by Ronald Darby. And his guys have got it back at the closing stages of the first half. That late in the clock, second quarter, why not just run it a time or two and get it into the locker room? What you're saying makes absolutely perfect sense. Run it and get out of there. But I'm just wondering if the pressure of today's NFL and the high-powered offenses that you're facing may have forced them into saying, let's try and get some more points. to the 22. Give him a couple on the carry there. Second and eight. So we have reached halftime here in what's an eight-point game. As we'll send you down to Orlando where Larry Ridley has our EA Sports Halftime Report. Larry? Thanks, Brandon, and welcome to our EA Halftime Report. I'm Larry Ridley. 
The Bills right now are doing a good job protecting their house. The Patriots haven't played horribly, but will need to improve if they want to win this one. So here we go. Let's take a look at some of the highlights from the first half. Patriots take it at the six. Danny Amendola making the grab in traffic. And he kept off the long drive with the TD. The Pats go up by four. Bills take it at the six. Gillisley's got it on the run, and he'd go in for the six-yard touchdown. They go ahead by a field goal. Patriots have the football midway through the second. The pass ends up being picked off. Bills take it back all the way for the score. The lead grows to four. First and 10, Taylor is on target here, and he'll end up at the 35-yard line before being tackled. Field still on the field. Taylor is going to duck out to the left, and he'd go in for the 17-yard touchdown. The lead now at 8. Now to late in the first half. Brady's throw under pressure leads to the turnover. Fields defense forces the turnover. So that'll do it for us here in Orlando. For the call of the second half, let's hand it back over to Brandon and Charles. Brandon. So both teams have their marching orders, and we'll get going again here in quarter number three. Now Amendola. A beautiful fake. And he will be marked out right there at the 20-yard line. Now the Patriots gearing up to go now. They're close, close game, but they're going to need to do a little bit better probably here in half two, no? I would agree with that totally. I would guess it in the locker room. They talked about cleaning up some of the errors, but overall, I think they wanted to be positive with them. Guys, we're right there. Just not playing as well as we need to. Let's pick it up, and we still have a chance to win this game. Yeah, they do. We'll see if they can pick it up. Throwing on first down is Brady. And right side caught Hogan. And he's brought down, getting this one up to about the 35. He'll take this up to about the 37. Two yards on the carry there. It'll be second down. That's a good play by the guys on the defensive side of the ball. Held them to a gain of two. And that changes the playbook a little bit now for the guy calling plays. Second and eight. Now he's got to probably think about going to the air instead of maybe staying with the ground game. Blunt, the lone running back. So the defense flinches, contact made, and the five-yard penalty ensues. Encroachment, defense. Still second down. And the offense still has a couple plays to go to pick up the first on second down and three. They come out here in the eye. Brady to throw on second down. Blitz coming and down he goes. They push him back eight yards that time on second down. Man, he got in there so quickly, Charles. What could the offense have done to adjust and account for that? But what you're hoping is that you figure out and you see and get a clue that maybe there's going to be some pressure coming at you, and you change the blocking schemes. Maybe you go to max protection. The biggest one is maybe you bring your running back in to try and keep you clean. But in that case, that didn't happen. Zero accountability, and a sack resulted. Big sack on second down. Now the offense needs to convert here on third. Throwing his Brady on third down. He's got time in the pocket. 
And that is incomplete. The wideout, Chris Hogan, the intended receiver. Now fourth down. But no second guessing the call here. It was third and long, so throwing the football was probably the smart play to try and pick it up. But they don't get it, and now the defense goes off the field feeling pretty good about themselves, gaining some momentum as they force them into a likely punting situation. Just a two-yard return there following a punt of 48. And the Bills will take over the football with a first and 10. Now we take a glance at the offense as they work their way back out for their first possession of the second half. They have the lead here. Well, we talk a lot about pregame speeches. What are halftime speeches like? For the most part, not nearly as emotional. They're a lot more clinical. Every now and then, though, they'll get after you if they think they need to light a fire. But in this case, let's go into the virtual locker room because here's what I think happened. They got in there and they said, listen, let's take control right away. Yeah, Defense, we got, the yeah. we, got the we, got the we got the lead. Defense, don't give up any points. Turn the ball back over to the offense and let them go down and score and give us more of a cushion in the game. Check so far. Defense shut them down. Let's see if the offense gets done. Well, they went for the big play there, but that drop could really hurt their momentum. Second down following the incompletion. They go play action now. Taylor over the middle and caught by the tight end play. And he's able to get up here to the 26. First and foul, roughing the passer, defense. So a big roughing the passer penalty, Charles, and of course that's 15 yards. And everyone knows how protected the quarterbacks are. You've got to make sure that when you launch at a quarterback that you're hitting him in the right spot and in the right time. First down and 10 now for the offensive group. Gonna give this time to the tailback. And he's gonna take this one up only to about the 44-yard line. Two yards on the pickup there. It'll be second and eight. The best defensive lineman, they play with great leverage so they can get low and not get bowled over by offensive linemen. They have excellent hands. They can throw people off on a play. We just saw a great example of a really good run stop by a guy playing the defensive tackle position. On second down, Taylor. Fighting his safety valve here. That's complete. It'll be a three-yard gain, and they're going to face a third down. Everyone's got to be able to catch the football. Doesn't matter what position you play, but if you're on offense, be aware, a ball may come your way. An extra defensive back in the game now here for third and four. Taylor. Oh, it's a screen pass. That's complete. And he'll get it out to midfield. Looks like, yeah, they'll spot it right at midfield at the 50. They dialed up the screen pass on third down, and for a second, it looked like it was all going to come together, and they had a chance to pick up a first down, but the defense got there and finished it off. Here's Colton Schmidt now. He'll boot it away from about his 35. And he gets it away. A directional kick going toward the sideline. And this will carry out of bounds. Where are they going to spot it now? At about the 18-yard line, it looks like. And now out come the Patriots. And they'll be looking to avoid what happened last time, which is punting the football. But when you look at how teams play the game, that complementary football comes into play. How do I take care of my defense? How do I take care of my offense? Well, the defense is taking care of them in a lot of ways. Now it's time for the offense to jump things up and help their defense out, give them a little bit of rest. Yeah, time for them to give them a rest. Took the words right out of my mouth. 
Brady now on first down. Looking middle, it's caught by Gronkowski. And he's brought down. He got 18 yards out of that one, and it gets him a new set of downs. Ah, yes, Brady to Gronk. You think these two are in sync? Without a doubt. And look, they both understand what they can do for each other. Gronk knows if he gets open, the ball's going to be there. And Tom Brady knows what a great security blanket Gronk is. When all else fails, you find big 87. And on the ground they go with a running back. Give him a couple on the carry there, second and eight. Well, so many times we look at a short run and we praise the offense for trying to set the tempo and establish things, but the defensive guys, hey, they just won the battle there. It wasn't a big run given up. They don't always have to absorb the body blows. Sometimes they dish them out themselves. Now Brady throwing on second down. And over the middle to the tight end, Bennett. It's an eight-yard pickup and leads to a new set of downs. Completion was given up, but that's why you play zone defense, so that you can have people around the ball when it's caught and you don't give up much run after the catch. Looking to jam the receivers at the line here. Press coverage look defensively. They'll run it now, out of the gun. And able to push his way forward here for a good little game. Five yards on the carry, good pickup on first down. And that's exactly what you want on a first down run. Pick up five yards, bring up second and five. The defensive line, though, they've got to figure out a way to out leverage the guys up front because the offensive line is winning at the point of attack. On second down, here's Brady. And that is incomplete. So many offenses want to include their running backs into their passing offense and be able to swing the ball out or check it down to them. But sometimes those guys are just not as comfortable catching the ball as they are running it. And he's going to have the first down at about the 38. Personal foul. Face mask. Defense. And the dreaded face mask penalty. That's going to cost him 15 yards. And it's such a dangerous play. Body going one way and then your head gets yanked back the other. 15 yards is the right call. So here we go, first and ten now. They'll give it to him right up the gut. And he'll at least get him inside the red zone here, down to about the 19. They give him four yards there, it'll be second and six. On any running play that's called, they're always hoping that's going to break big and go the distance. But when you get a nice game like that, you're able to do so many things anyway. You can come back and run essentially the same play again, continue to move the ball on the ground, or you can decide to throw the ball now because usually you have the defense back on its heels. And here comes play number six on this drive. And they'll go with a ground attack here. And this time he's not going anywhere. They'll get him down right at the line of scrimmage. The linebacker, Preston Brown, brings him down. But he was stopped on that play. But he's had plenty of carries all afternoon. Every now and then the defense is going to win one, but I don't think they'll shy away from handing it to him the rest of the game. Seventh play of the drive upcoming here on third and six. Throwing his Brady on third down. And in 
incomplete here to bring up fourth down as the rookie couldn't haul it in. We know it's not an easy job to go out and catch passes when people are trying to tackle you and knock the ball away. But the bottom line is, that's a pass he's got to have and a pass he should have caught. So on fourth down, Brady will yield to Goskowski for the field goal try. It'll be from the right hash, and it'll be a 36-yarder. And Goskowski's kick is good. And the drive will wind up yielding three. Well, it can be a thankless job sometimes, but they'll be thanking their kicker here. That's now four field goals for him. He's kept them in the game. He sure has, but this offense is going to need to find its rhythm because it's going to take more than field goals to win this football game. Goskowski now converted for three. Now he'll kick this one away. This is fielded a couple yards deep. And last year, that would have been a net gain of five on the return. This year, he stopped where he would have been if he had taken a knee, and that's at the 25. Here's the Buffalo offense now as they get set to take over here. And a tight game after punting last time. See if they can get something going on this drive. As they head to the field now, with the game this close, you've got to feel there's a sense of urgency for them going on offense right now. But they have to do it without letting panic creep in and affect their play. They'll give it to him right up the gun. And he'll fight forward to about the 27-yard line. Two yards on the carry there. It'll be second down. Not a big run on the first play of the drive, but that doesn't necessarily mean it was a bad play. Sometimes you're just trying to settle in, get your guys a little bit of contact, and get things moving. Second down, eight. They come up in an offset eye. And he'll give it here to his running back. Not much room here as he only gets it to about the 30. It's a four-yard pickup there, and it leaves him with third and five. It's been a struggle this entire game trying to move the ball on the ground. But every now and then, you find a little chink in the armor, and that type of run right there lets them know that they can't stop every single run for almost no gain. Third and five, so they bring in an extra defensive back. Yeah, expecting pass. From the shotgun, it's Taylor. Hits his target, Hunter. And he won't go down. Look at this, middle of the field, a breakaway. And all the way home for a Bills touchdown. Justin Hunter, 69 yards. And the Bills will add on to their lead. So on third and medium, they dial up the pass, and it works to hit the end zone. And it's really not a surprise to me. That's a throwing down in the NFL because of how tough it is to run the football. But what offenses like to do is still show run formations to make them respect it and throw out of those. In this case, they took a nice shot at the end zone and made it pay off. Now Carpenter to add the extra point. And this one gives his guys a 12-point lead. After the TD, here's Carpenter on to kick it away. This fielded at the two. And he'll take it a yard or so past the 20, call it the 21-yard line. The Patriot offense now set to come back out onto the field. And tough to win games if you're going field goal, field goal, field goal here. They got field goal last time. Now they'll be looking for a touchdown. They're looking for the big chunk now because, as you noted, the field goal, field goal, field goal way of doing it makes it that much harder. It puts more pressure on every possession for you now. Go ahead and get six and feel a lot more comfortable about the position they're in. Bigger chunks. We'll see if they can get the score. First and ten, here's Brady. Over the middle, and 
and it's incomplete. Unable to get it to Gronkowski that time. That'll bring up second down. Well, Charles, during our production meeting yesterday, the topic of MVP came up, and you listed a couple guys you see up at the top of the heap. Who do you have? Well, it is an election year, right? So I'm going with a ticket for a couple of these, all right? <laughs> Julio Jones, wide receiver, Matt Ryan, yeah. quarterback in Atlanta. Running back Ezekiel Elliott, quarterback Dak Prescott in Dallas. But I think the guy that's probably been overlooked has been Mr. Do-It-All, Mr. Versatility, David Johnson in Arizona. Boy, he's been good. 681 rushing yards, eight touchdowns already. They'll run it now out of the gun. And he'll be taken down here at about the 23-yard line. He only got a couple on that one, so not a ton of help. They'll have a third and eight forthcoming. Partner, we know today's NFL is really built around the guy throwing the football. But these short runs, they still pay dividends because they can take their toll on a defense and they can add up as the game goes along. You control the clock, you control the ball, and that way you often control the game. They go play action for White. Now it's Brady surveying the field. And now a fumble. Brady loses the football. like this when the ball comes free it's often unusual for the team that lost it to get it back because this is, this is the quarterback the ball gets away from him everyone else is trying to execute what they're supposed to do on offense they're usually looking in the other direction downfield or have moved away from it in this case though a teammate is able to come up with the ball here's Ryan Allen now as the drive goes backwards so he's on to punt it away Averaging over 50 yards of punt so far as this one's away. On the return, it's Tate. A nice job on the return there. 16 yards. And the offense will take over with a new set of downs. And the Bills getting set to go. And they will simply, Charles, be looking to duplicate what they did last drive when they were able to push it in for six. And they hope it'll be that easy, right, to be able to take exactly what happened before, replicate it. They may have to make a few additional changes along the way because I'm sure the defense will make some adjustments, but they've got to have great confidence having scored the last time out. First and ten, it's Taylor. He's got time. Oh, the ball comes out on the hit, but they'll say it's incomplete. Holding offense. So he got his hands a little too far outside. The ref caught him through the flag. here on first down right side complete that's Woods and he'll be taken down but not before getting this inside the 30 a big gain there for the Bills 31 yards there will always be a place for methodically marching the ball downfield but when you can pick it up in big chunks and strike like that and have explosive plays that's often the difference in winning and losing those types of plays that can knock a defense off balance, that'll drive a team towards a victory. And on the outside, they're playing press coverage. Hey, hey, hey. We got three. We got three. three, down. three they come down. up in an go. offset on. Now a handoff here to his running back. And he's going to fight his way forward here for a modest gain. Five yards is the tally on first down. That brings up second and five. Frustrating for a defense, energizing for an offense. Finding a way to create that type of yardage in your running game, that'll make the guys carrying the ball very, very happy. And they'll go ground game here with a tailback. And his rough afternoon continues. He's going nowhere again. And they'll lose a yard that time, and that's going to lead to a third down. 
Yeah, let me puff out my chest a little bit, even though I'm not rooting for either team. That was a really nice defensive play. It's awfully fun to watch, even in an offensive game. It's third down, six yards to go for the offense. set up the screen that's complete and he's going to lose yards they take him down at the 26 that'll make it fourth down after a loss of one well you can see what they wanted to do they wanted to set up the screen there but it got blown up it's hard to run that play if you're not getting a lot of pressure at the quarterback because the space doesn't open up they were able to read that one and slow it down and stop it before they could get a first down so out comes the field goal team now for the second time here today. He hit his first. Now this from 43. And Carpenter knocks it through. And that will make this now a 15-point advantage. So a good kick there, and they wrap up the drive by putting three on the board. And you know, let's face it, you're not always going to come away with six. Defense in the NFL are just too good. But you've got to come away with something. And there, they get three. Carpenter now, after the made field goal, will kick this one away. Now Amendola. And he'll take this across the 25, a couple extra yards, up to the 27-yard line. Patriots offense, they worked their way back out onto the field. And on the last go around, they really couldn't get anything going. They had to punt from deep inside their own territory, which means you're going to lose the field position battle as a general rule. What they're looking for now is a little more consistency. Move the ball at least a few times on offense, get a couple of first downs, and hopefully flip the field. Yeah, just something to build off of. That's what they're looking for here. That's going to frustrate the coaching staff a little bit as they dialed up the deep shot. But they weren't on the same page on that play. Hey, I don't think they were in the same book. I think he thought he was going to do something else. Ends up throwing it over the sidelines. Well incomplete. Brady will try again on second down. And Gronkowski's got it. Complete over the middle. It's a gain of five. And that'll make it third down. They gave up the completion there, but this is what zone defenses count on. Catching the ball and not much run after the catch. Five yards to gain here on third down. Shotgun now for Brady. And he's got Bennett. And he's got a first down as he's up to the 48. 17 yards on the pickup there. The drive will continue. And he's the epitome of what we call the move tight end. A guy that you can line up anywhere, in the slot, out wide, in tight. Doesn't really matter because he has such great skills. You want to utilize him in all aspects of your passing offense. And there he was in the slot for the catch. So the offense has it first and 10. Blunt, the lone running back. He'll get it running right. And he is going to lose yardage here. It's a loss of two there, bringing up second down. We just saw another example of how the defense is winning this game. Really at the point of attack, the offensive line is just getting pushed around. I think now as a play caller, you've got to give them a little bit of help. Maybe keep your tight ends a little bit more. Maybe the running backs help you a little bit with the pass blocking. But you've got to help them get some confidence because you can't abandon the play calling right now. Now Brady throwing on second down. And he'll be hit as he releases it. And that'll fall incomplete. 
You ever notice that when Tom Brady does get hit and dropped to the ground, there's some guys back to him pretty quickly to check on his health, aren't there? That's exactly right. He, for as much as he throws, doesn't take a lot of square shots, but took one there. He's really smart in the pocket, isn't he? Even out of the pocket. He understands where the pressure is coming from. He senses people. You're exactly right. Doesn't take too many direct ones. But that one, that one had to hurt. Here's Brady to throw. Over the middle, it's Amendola. And he'll get it into enemy territory just across midfield at the 49. Partner, I think that completion takes the definition of dink and dunk to a different level, doesn't it? It does, and the defense was right there, kind of played into their hands. Here's Ryan Allen now. He's been terrific so far. Three quarters in the books. We'll return with more after this. This is the NFL, and it's on EA Sports. Let's go! Red 38! Out of the gun, it's Taylor. Hits his target, Hunter. And he brings this up to the 46. Good enough for the first. That one goes for 13 yards, and it moves the sticks. And defensively, they just don't seem to have much of an answer for this passing game. Not at all. Look at the confidence that's exhibited here with that type of a lead clock on their side instead of running it they're still throwing it trying to pick up first downs and keeping the football fresh set of downs here now they'll run it on the toss <laughs> and able to push his way forward here for a good little game it's a seven yard carry to set them up with a second and three I know that every now and then we get in those meetings with coaches and you almost want to roll your eyes when they talk about staying on schedule when they're moving the football. But would you say a seven-yard run is ahead of schedule? Fourth quarter with the lead, you love that, don't you? No doubt about it because staying on schedule is trying to get four downs on first down. They did that plus three. They'll come out in the pistol. Here we go! And he'll give it here to his running back. And hit behind the line. He lost the football. It's loose. And his guys will set up shop at midfield at the 50-yard line. Partner, that would look like it was over. I mean, they had control, had the football, and the defense had to make a play in order to keep them in the game. That's exactly what they did. And now that door ajar, two-score game. So hold on here. Not done in the fourth. So the Patriots coming out now. And down on the scoreboard, certainly needing to avoid what happened on the last drive, punting the football. Sense of urgency has to take over for them here. They know the score. They know the situation. And by the way, the punter no longer exists for their <laughs> offense. That's how they have to treat this drive. They need points. Big time. Second and ten now. From midfield, here's Brady. And a big loss here as he's taken down. The former All-Pro, Marcel Darius. In there to get him for what will be a loss of 13 yards. Okay, you know my bias is about to come out here. A lot of people think that the offense is just moving in the wrong direction. I'd say they're moving in the right direction because the defense is pushing them back. Former defensive guy. Now, as a quarterback, third and long, you really got to rally the troops here, don't you? Yeah, you do in a big way. And what else do you have to look out for? More pressure coming at you because it seems to be working pretty well. Second down, sacked by the defense. What type of pressure will they bring here on third? We'll see. Working from the gun, it's Brady. Throwing it in traffic there, and that's complete. And he'll be brought down just shy of midfield at the 49-yard line. One thing I can say pretty safely, that route is not called if you don't have a guy who can throw the ball and put some mustard on it. Because if you're going to lollipop it in the middle of the field, 
bad things usually happen. It takes a strong-armed guy who can rifle it in there, and they were able to successfully complete that one. He's averaging just under 50 yards a punt as he gets this away. And it's out of bounds. Now we'll see what the side judge says. He says out at the eight-yard line. Bills offense gets ready to head back onto the field. And last time, the fumble, the turnover. Now they still have the lead, but I don't think coaches care. The turnovers will bother them no matter what the scoreboard says. And that's the relief that you still have the lead, but coaches look at what if and what it should be. Turning the ball over when they've got a chance to score more points and increase the lead, that's what's going to affect them. And they're also thinking to future weeks, maybe when the game's closer, right? No doubt about it. You want to clean up everything. Let's just be honest about it. They want everything to be perfect at all times. They don't want to give up anything that's going to hurt their team. They'll give it to him right up the gut. And not much there at all as he'll get this only up to about the 11. Just a one-yard pickup there, and it's going to make it third down at six. In order to play really good run defense when you're playing a 3-4, those three guys up front, the nose tackle and the guys they call the defensive ends, they're usually big, big people because they're going to have to eat up a lot of blockers because it's usually five on three. And when they do their job well, guys who play on the inside, those inside linebackers, they will just roam and hit. And he'll maybe get back to the line of scrimmage, but no more than that. Nothing doing on that one, and it'll be fourth down. I know you've got a baseball background, right? A little bit. Started yeah. in minor league ball. Yeah, you did some of that, right? What do they do when they do the signals? An indicator, right? It Tells starts... whether it, it goes or not, yeah. Yeah, whether the play's on or not. How about the indicators offensive linemen give when they're getting ready to run a screen pass? And if those get red, <laughs> well, we just saw that there, didn't we? No gain. No gain. Deciphered it and finished the play off. Here's Colton Schmidt now as he's on for the fifth time here today. And it's fielded at the 34. So possession goes over here on the punt. And possession will switch hands first and ten. Now the Patriot offense set to take over again. And they're coming off a three and out, my friend. I think they've got to look at that play sheet and go to a spot that they haven't gone before. Time to shake things up a little bit to try and get this offense moving. Okay, so how do you do that? How do you shake things up? You look at what you've called before, <laughs> realize it hasn't worked go to so something well, else. and maybe you try and find one of those special plays from one of your better players, and maybe try and hit something big and get things going in the excitement area. Offense looking to avoid a third and long. It's second and ten. From the midfield strike, they'll look to throw. Over the middle, that's caught by Hogan. It'll be a pickup of ten yards. And that'll bring up what looks to be a third and in inches. Can't be more than a half a foot. Simple slant route and part of a really nice hard throw by the quarterback. Nice timing between the quarterback and the receiver. They were perfectly in sync, and he put it right on him on the inside route. And on third down, a nickel formation here defensively. Brady going to try and throw on third down. And a quick throw here. That's complete. And I think the ball's out, but this will fortunately wind up out of bounds. I don't know about you, but I could hear 
and feel the sigh of relief all the way up here in our booth. That was palpable. The sideline, the friend there. No doubt about it. Ball goes over the sideline, able to retain possession, no turnover. <laughs> I know his coaches are screaming, just hang on to the ball, man. down is Brady. Oh, he's got a man wide open, complete. Give him 16 on the pickup, and it gives the Pats a first down. down Brady and he dumps it off to Blunt and he'll get him inside the 15 down to the 14 yard line seven yards on the play and that'll make it second down I'm going to show my age here a little bit we used to talk about running backs catching the ball as safety valves nowadays they're a big part of the passing offense quit acting like you're so old you're only 65 <laughs> to the 10-yard line. Personal foul, face mask, defense. And a big face mask penalty here, 15 yards. You never want to get your hands up in the face mask area because your fingers can get tangled up there, and that can hurt you as a player. Flags come in. Looked like one of the Patriots might have moved. Full start, offense. They come out here in the eye. And here is motion again. And that's going to be two in a row. offense. Penalty on first down, backs him up five. It's now first down at 15. And now movement again, and they'll march even further backward. Foster, offense. So now the offense is facing a first down and 20 after that last mistake. And here is motion again. And that's going to be two in a row. Foster, offense. And 
And now movement again, and they'll march even further backward. False start offense. And here is motion again. And that's going to be two in a row. All start offense. Again, it's Brady. Sideline throw, it's complete. And a nice job there of keeping the toes inbounds. And with that last play, he's now up over that 300-yard mark. And in today's NFL, it almost feels routine. And I hate that when you talk about a 300-yard passing game. To me, 300 yards still signifies excellence, and he's achieved that in this performance. So the false start will back them up five. False start, offense. And now movement again, and they'll march even further backward. False start, offense. Looks like the defense in press coverage here. Now Brady again. He's got time in the pocket. And he's just going to get rid of this thing. To no one here, he throws it away. And now it's third. It appears that the pressure is affecting him today. Normally, he knows exactly when to get rid of the football, but today, because he's been hit a few times, he's getting rid of it a little bit too quickly. They gotta have six here. It's third and goal. Brady to throw again. Surveying the field. And a dump off to White. And he'll be brought down at the 21, just shy of the 20 in the red zone. Push him a foul, roughing the passer, defense. So roughing the passer, 15-yard penalty. And you notice how the offensive line responded. A couple went to check on the quarterback, and a couple went to the guy who hit the quarterback. No one likes to see their quarterback hit. walks to the line for play number seven of the drive. Blunt, the lone running back. He'll get the football here. And he'll fight forward maybe to the line of scrimmage, but that's all. Call it no gain on the play, and it'll be second down. No gain on that run, and while the team is down, there's still time to come back and win the football game. If I'm the offensive coordinator, though, I've got to think about moving at a faster pace and maybe opening things up a little bit and throwing it a little bit more. My 20! My 20! Movement there on the offensive line, a little quick, and a five-yard penalty. All start, offense.
So the defense has put them in a tough spot. It's second and long. Now a handoff here to his running back. And he'll push his way up to about the 14. He'll get two yards back, but it's going to leave him with a long third and 13. Third down now following the run. Working from the gun, it's Brady. This will be caught at about the six. And he'll be brought down this time at the five-yard line. They're going to try and keep hope alive here on fourth down. They're going for it. Now Brady got to have this one. And this is caught. For the moment, it's a touchdown, but multiple flags down. So let's sort this out. Holding defense. A penalty is declined. And now in a nine-point game, they'll still just need to go for one here. And it's good. So that will get them back within one score. Goskowski now after the touchdown. He'll send this one away. This fielded at the two. And he'll take this across the 25 couple of extra yards up to the 27 yard line and let's shift now to talking about the Patriots defense they were able to force the three and out last time led to the punt and then led to a touchdown for their crew so they'll be looking for a little bit more of that Charles well I think that they created the spark with the three and out gave a little momentum to their offense and said all right appreciate it guys and they took the ball downfield and stuck it in the end zone and that defense wasn't out there long they'll be trying to keep it short here and the offense here just looking to stay in bounds, complete the short passes, and put this game on ice. And they'll try the ground game here with the running back. Just a yard on the pickup there, and it'll bring up a second and nine. Yeah, that wasn't a big run, just a short one there. But guess what? Sometimes you treat it like boxing. You throw that jab out there, and you throw it again, you throw it again. Then you come with a big punch later. Maybe they're just trying to set them up. Time is starting to run out, really becoming a factor. We'll see if the defense can get the stop they need to get the ball back to the offense. And they'll go on the ground. And he stopped immediately there. Time for a break. We'll come back for the electrifying conclusion after this. So it's Bill's football here as we get you reset. They're facing a critical third down now as they try to hold on to this lead. And defensively, it's a nickel formation here on third down and nine. Now we're going to get a timeout here called by the Patriots. It's just their first. They've got two more to use here in the final stages. So the defense had a chance to catch their breath, and now they're back out and ready. Here's Colton Schmidt now, as they're forced to kick for the sixth time today.
taken at about the 16. A big kick that time, 52 yards. And the Patriots take over. thing into overtime how deflating absolutely i mean let's face it heartbreaking they had an opportunity had a chance and probably were feeling pretty good about what was going on and that was taken away from them by their own mistake yeah, the opportunity squashed now the bills offense gets ready to head back onto the field they have the lead obviously late in the game i guess the good news for them is if for some reason they would make a mistake a field goal does the opposition no good. Everyone loves to have a little bit of a cushion, and that helps you immeasurably. But the bottom line is, do all the things that you're taught in order to close out the game. Don't even let that become an issue. Yeah, but still a one-possession game. This one not fully over yet. They'll run it now out of the gun. And he'll fight his way. Now whistles blow and the Patriots are going to take another timeout. That'll be their second, so one more chance to stop the clock here. And we'll be back. So a defensive timeout, chance to regather, regroup, and get set as we resume action. control right now but I'm looking at your face and I'm thinking I've got to be careful with that well it's a two score game you're inside of two minutes I think you can breathe relatively easily now yeah you can but still you got to stay vigilant can't give up anything cheap and easy that could put you in some jeopardy Carpenter now for the extra point He's been a busy man. Five for five now as he knocks another one through to extend the lead. After the TD, here's Carpenter on to kick it away. Fielded about a yard deep. Patriots offense now they work their way back onto the field and they had the fumble last time that led to a touchdown that's a no-no we'll see what they do here this go around a big no-no put that in capital letters turning it over the other team takes it down and scores that can be a deflator for a football team now it's up to the offense to get back out on the field and pick things up. Now they're out there. We'll see if they can pick those things back up. Looking to jam the receivers at the line here. Press coverage look defensively. They come out five wide. Three of them to the right side. Brady now on first down. Over the middle. That's taken in by Gronkowski. 
And he's able to take this one up to the 35-yard line. Give him eight on the play, and it'll be a second down. And the offense moving quickly to the line. Here's Brady to throw. And no escaping this time as he'll go down. They got him for a sack. Personal foul. Face mask. Defense. Charles, I know it's hard when live bullets are flying, but you cannot keep your hand up around the face mask area. It is absolutely inexcusable nowadays. We talk about target areas all the time. You have to aim lower so that your hand doesn't get involved in the face mask. down is Brady. He's got time. And his throw is going to be incomplete. Malcolm Mitchell out of the University of Georgia was the intended receiver. And that'll bring up second down. Offense still needing 10 yards. Second down. to throw on second down finding time throwing right and that's complete and he's brought down he goes for 18 there as the drive will continue and now they're in the hurry up So second and ten here. Brady to throw again. Toward the sideline, and look at that catch. Dragging the toes, and that's going to be a first down. Well done. I know they don't like to hear it when they get to a certain age. But then you have to start to use your, your skills, your wiles, right? Your mind to beat guys to the football. And getting your toes tapped in bounds definitely qualifies as that, doesn't yeah, it? The veteran showing he still has the agility. In the red zone this time. They go play action here on first down. That is caught inside the five. And he couldn't quite get there. Tackled down at the one. And quickly, they get to the line. Now flags come in. Looked like one of the Patriots might have moved. False start. Offense. And on the outside, they're playing press coverage. They slot Gronkowski outright. Now Brady again. And this one incomplete. So the clock stopped now with 20 seconds remaining. Again, they'll throw with Brady. He's got time in the pocket. That is caught at the seven-yard line. No gain on the play, and it'll bring up a third down. They tried to swing it out left into the flat, but the defense, they were very principled there. It felt very West Coast offense, didn't it? You know, you know their expression, right? On a West Coast offense, when they throw the ball, it's either going to be a touchdown or a check down, meaning they like to press it downfield if they don't have it swing it out, which is exactly what we saw there, but how about the great pursuit and tackle to make a nice play. And it's caught. He's got it for a late touchdown, 
but probably a little too late. It would take a miracle of epic proportions if they're going to pull this one off. And there's the touchdown that they needed, so they'll celebrate, but the guys on the sidelines, they've got to stay focused. The onside kick team, they need them to get the ball back. Yeah, part one of the equation done. Now they need to convert and get that onside kick. And now in a nine-point game, they'll still just need to go for one here. As this gets them back within a touchdown and a two-point conversion. So looking at this situation, you should have time for the onside kick and then at least one play. A scramble for it. I think the Patriots may have got it. They did. So they've accomplished half the mission, Charles. They get the onside kick. They do need a touchdown here, but they've got some time to do it. In the excitement, there's no need to press. Plenty of time. They have the opportunity. Now they just need to execute and finalize things. Now flags come in. Looked like one of the Patriots might have moved. False start, offense. Incomplete. He was looking for Julian Edelman that time. And now it's second down. It's always tough for the guys throwing the football when they think they've got a completion and the ball's almost there, and then someone sneaks a hand or two in and bats it away. Now flags come in. Looked like one of the Patriots might have moved. False start. Offense. And here is motion again. And that's going to be two in a row. Fast start. Offense. Looks like the defense in press coverage here. And now movement again, and they'll march even further backward. Full start, offense. Three receivers to the left, one to the right. He's back to throw. And he can't corral it. That would have wrapped it up if he'd been able to hold on. Instead, it brings up third down. He's got to be kicking himself right there. His team's already picked off two passes. That would have been the third in the game. And boy, they've really played well attacking the football. Wait, 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 wait,
One final try now for Brady. He's going to let it fly. And it's incomplete. So their final drive comes up empty. And with that, the ball game is over. Well, going into the final play of this game, they knew that they needed some type of a miracle there at the very end, but they couldn't get it done. However, we were treated to really a spectacular affair. Even though they didn't finish it off, you're exactly right. They took us down to the last play. We're still, you're wondering, could it happen? Possibly, even though we both knew it was a long shot. So that'll do it for us, for my partner, Charles Davis, and all the hard-working men and women on our crew. I'm Brandon Gaunt. You've been watching the NFL right here on EA Sports. The Bills are victorious as we say so long from Buffalo. Buffalo.